All right, guys, so we got the A3 right here, my 2017 Audi A3. As I was showing you guys before in a previous video, my car does not come factory with paddle shifters. So some A3s do. Uh, some people are saying I got the, the poverty spec. Uh, but so listen, man, at least I got the S-Line. I do, I do have the poverty spec steering wheel, for being honest here. So we can't have that. Well, this is gonna be the first mod to the car pretty much and that is going to be a upgraded steering wheel Audi S line flat bottom wheel. It's got Audi R8 paddle shifters. This in my opinion I think is the best wheel for the money You're not gonna believe you guys are gonna make fun of me when I tell you where I got this from But I did get this from AliExpress. Okay, so yes, do we know if this is gonna work? No, we don't okay We could we could plug it into everything and the airbag could explode in my face while I'm driving Okay, so we don't know yet so I'm gonna be the guinea pig, and I'm gonna let you guys know if this is worth it. About $300, an OEM one of these is about $1,000 to $1,200, okay? So I mean, if you look at the stitching, it's pretty mint. It's pretty mint, like the white stitching, the buttons right here, uh, the R8 paddles, and they got a nice click. And we got the S-Line logo right there, and then the uh, my airbag that's in my car right now is gonna be going in here. But really, like the quality, I don't see any defects at all, which is pretty impressive. So. We're gonna throw this thing on today, which I am so excited to do. From talking to some other people, this should just be plug and play. So literally, we should be able to pull out this steering wheel, throw this one in, and the paddle should start working. Um, that's kind of one of the beauties with the facelift. They kind of have a few things like that where things just work when you upgrade them. So came straight from China. Didn't know if it was actually gonna come to my house or not. Thought I might've gotten scammed. Step one though, to not get blown up by an airbag is disconnect the battery terminals. Here we are. Did you buy S3 yet? No, not yet, not yet, man. Yeah. I'm working on it. You might think we know what we're doing from talking about it, but we don't know anybody who has done this install before. So we are, I'm educated on YouTube videos and Audi forms. That's about it. And uh, we have somebody on, on that's available to call at any moment who has done the steering wheel before. He is in New Hampshire, but you know, well, we have uh, we have our sources here and we're gonna, we're gonna get it done and uh, hopefully, hopefully we don't get blown up. That would be very nice if we don't. And we just let it sit in case there's a capacitor that's still charged. Yeah, and we'll let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes probably. So we'll catch you guys when it's been 10 or 15 minutes. So Aiden, we're back. Yeah, How, going? do you have new tires? How, any more tires, have they exploded yet or no? Nah, they're all, they're all good. You know, she uh, needs an alignment though. No. Cause when I plug in my phone, I let it go of the steering wheel and I have about two minutes for him off the road. Okay, that, that's a good measure so of testing. So it's not bad. It's not bad, okay. I think it's the left. Okay. You think? Which way does your car move? Left, yeah, but exactly. sometimes, <laughs> no, 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 but sometimes it moves to the right and that could be from bumps or the road, so. Would you, would you, would you whip here today? 2016 Porsche Cayenne Turbo S. Yeah. How, many, how much power does it make? 570. Turbo S, nice dude. It's beat? Yeah, I mean. Bro, that car was yeah, perfect, got uh, 90,000 miles. Wow, on a turbo wet? Yeah, it's yeah. okay. So right now we're trying to find, supposedly there's clips on the back here that we cannot find. I, I see it. You see it? Yeah, you what? get a screwdriver and I guess you put it in there. Yep. Can't even, I can't even focus on it, guys. Right there, you can see that's one of the spots for the clip. So you want to basically turn the wheel, pop that clip, and then turn the wheel back, and then pop the other clip. There's supposed to be two of them. Yeah, I need a pretty small screwdriver to do it. <laughs> After 30 minutes, we've gotten the first clip here. So the airbag is slightly off now on this side. So what you got to do now, so basically that clip in there is known to be the hardest thing, right? So it's a clip, it's a flathead. What'd you do? Did you just pop in? I, you kind of force this in this hole back here, and you kind of pry up. You got to try to find it. It's it's a pain. We did it. We so, did it. All right. So now, one more to go. <laughs> so we got we got Reese on the phone who is. Yo. We got Evan also. Evan just showed Yo. up. Reese on the phone who basically just Yo. saved us, and uh, he did this on his A3. And basically, you just have to, when it feels like you're breaking the wheel, that's when you do it. You just did it. The other one too. So that's the key. Uh oh. Why is it not coming out now? Thanks. Shout out you to Reese out? though. Shout out to Reese. You, you got a stage Yo. two IE A3. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. Finally. Finally, dude. Finally. So how long been at this? Yeah, what time, how long? We're at 7.43. What time we start? Jeez, had to been six o'clock. Okay, so now we gotta straighten the wheel so it's properly straight. Straight is- All right, now you gotta release that uh, airbag pr protecting clip on the inside. That's on the back of the wheel, on the top. There's a small clip and then it pulls, it lets you pull the whole connector out. Airbag clip right there? Oh, I see, okay. Out. Right, there. right out of that top top section. Um, so now you get one next, bud. For your E3, what's going on? Go. All right. So that is your airbag right there. Um, that's the whole setup. 
basically now what we need is we need a, I believe it's a 14, 14 mil triple square. I, triple think, square. I think it's a 12. So all you need is that to take off the center. That was the hard part. And this is yeah. going to be going back into that wheel right there. All right, let's see if we got this. Let's see if you got those muscles. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy, my boy. Easy. All right, she's off. Man, we're, just, we're gonna hang this up on the wall. Where's that new wheel? All right, ready? Hold on, I wanna see. Ready? Slide it on, Hunter. Slide it on. You're not. Oh my God, it's so much better. Watch, it's not gonna fit. No, it's... Don't even, don't even tell me right now. You're lying. Is it not fitting? We're good. We're good? <laughs> we're in. So, <laughs> yo, I'd be, but there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Well, do you have, do you have to wire them in or not? All right, clip it, dude. Let's not it get exploded. <laughs> How is that feel, dude? That's tough. That's so much better. <laughs> that's violent, dude. So good. All right, that All right, is amazing. On. Is that not wow. so much better? Oh, wow, God. dude. Everything works. It works. So much better. <laughs> oh, yo, he's got reverse one. Wait, is, what's the hazard on for? As soon as you start driving, they'll turn off. Is that steering wheel? Oh, it, you're it, on. It'll, it'll turn off probably. You think so? Yeah. As soon as you just start driving for a little while, man. That steering wheel, we got an issue so far with that. Hopefully that clears. Yeah. Right, does it work? <laughs> <laughs> it works, the paddles work. <laughs> Dude, it feels butter. Like way better? Way better, dude. Let's see if this wheel thing clears. Chill. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> it's off! Alright. Dude, it just feels like more like a sports car. It feels so much better with the paddles. Really? Highly recommended. Alright guys, so I've had some time behind the wheel now and I've gotten a feel for it and I've now gathered my thoughts on what I think of it and so we're gonna go out and drive a little bit and I'm gonna tell you guys uh, what I think of the wheel so far. So already, when you first get in the car, I mean, it just looks way better than the normal wheel. Obviously with the nice perforated leather and the flat bottom, in my opinion, it is a much better looking piece. It kind of adds a nice little thing to the car. And, uh, you know, having the paddle shifters, uh, it's, it's massive. But, you know, just looking at it, really, uh, it just, it just when you get in the car, it just kind of feels like a little bit higher quality feeling just when you drive it in general. Obviously, we go into manual mode right here. And instead of shifting with this normally, as you see, like normally I would downshift like that. But see, with the paddles, obviously, the paddles really make a difference. Honestly, a bigger difference than I thought. It just, it, it, you have way more control and it's just so much easier to keep both hands on the wheel all the time and be able to shift. But I've, this is just, I've wanted paddles so bad. And really for the money, I, I, I can't really recommend it anymore. I get just, it's pretty amazing. 300 and something dollars I paid for it on AliExpress. Uh, obviously like the OEM ones of these wheels are like $1,200. Uh, so, I mean, I am super happy with it right now. Obviously, time will tell. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a blast driving with the paddles over, over the stick, um, the, the, the knob. put the car into normal drive mode. Uh, if you do hit the paddle shifter, it automatically turns it into manual mode. And then after a couple minutes, it'll reset itself and it'll put it back into uh, drive mode. While you, in, while you are in automatic mode, you can shift the car as well, uh, like right now. But then if I shift it into manual and then back into drive, you'll see it goes back into drive just like that. So some, even in sport mode, like I put it in sport, obviously I can downshift. 
just it, it puts a smile on my face. It makes the driving experience just so much better. Um, it's just it's such a little thing, but it makes such a big difference. So definitely worth it. I definitely choose as the first upgrade for sure. Um, but yeah, this is the first thing we've done to the car. Uh, we have some other stuff coming up soon. Uh, we have some spacers, coilovers, um, RS3 grill. There's a bunch of stuff coming. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.